Hey guys, welcome to another video. Colby here, and I've got kind of a cool test for you today. So on the table here, I've got two Anchor power banks. And you may remember this one from my Starlink emergency backup kit video. This is the 20,000 milliamp hour version. And I've got this new one right here. This is an upgraded, or I should say expanded version of that, just has more capacity. This one has 27,650, I believe, milliamp hours. So slightly more than this one. And the mini, uh, the mini backup emergency kit video has got a lot of views and a lot of questions on battery life. And I think in the video I estimated anywhere from two to four hours of battery life for the Stronic Mini using this 20,000 milliamp hour one and just basic usage, mostly standby. But instead of just guessing and giving you a broad estimate, I thought it'd be interesting to test each one of these out and see exactly how long from 100% to 0% that these two battery banks last with the Starlink Mini. Here's how I'm gonna be setting up this test. So you notice I have my laptop here. What I'm gonna do is take my Starlink Mini right here. This is, by the way, the 16 foot, uh, five meter, I believe it is, OEM Starlink USB-C cable for the Mini. So this is, uh, I just got this a couple weeks ago and I'm gonna be testing this out for this test. I'm gonna take my Starlink Mini, set it up in the middle of my yard over here where I know it has a clear view of the sky and that it's properly aligned. And I'm gonna plug it into the power bank. That starts the timer, because it powers up immediately whenever you plug it into USB-C. So I'm gonna start a timer, I'm gonna come back and monitor it with my phone here. And when it says online in the Starlink app, so when after it's fully done booting, as soon as that happens, I'm gonna start up a YouTube video, probably a YouTube playlist on my laptop here that is connected to the Starlink Mini's Wi-Fi. And what that's going to do is simulate a real world usage scenario. So I'm trying to get an idea of battery life from these two guys with a real real world download and usage kind of situation. So I'll let that run and check in with it periodically just to see how we're going. And the goal here is just to measure the amount of time that the Mini will work to be downloading a YouTube video and be connected to Wi-Fi from not only this 20,000 milliamp version, but also this 27,000 milliamp version. And it's gonna be at a Wi-Fi distance of approximately 40 feet out there in the yard to this, uh, to my laptop here. So that's another variable there. So we've got a realistic Wi-Fi distance as well. So let me go set up the mini and we'll start the test. Okay, the mini is set up in the middle of my yard here. I've got the power bank and it's a very sunny day. So it might be impossible to see the screens here, but I'm trying to put them in a shadow so it's easier to see, but I've got a timer ready to go on my phone. So as soon as I plug this into the power bank, it's gonna start sending power to the mini and it's gonna start the boot up process. So I'll start the timer as soon as that happens. And the timer is started. It is now powered on. Don't know if you're gonna be able to make that out. Let me see if I can adjust the brightness here. Yeah, it's already on high brightness. So it says right now that the mini's pulling 41.3 watts and it's estimating an hour and 38 minutes. I know that the Mini uh, uses less power than that after it's done booting. So let's go over to the laptop now, wait for it to connect, and we'll start up the YouTube video, and I'll check in periodically. Okay, check in here. Uh, we are at four minutes, so just under, just under five minutes, and the Starlink has fully booted up. It's now fully online. It is downloading a software update, but I still have internet access. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a playlist just obviously play my own videos it's going to be on a loop so it's going to be streaming youtube just constantly and this test is going to end when i lose wi-fi connection or i can no longer stream any videos on my laptop here so either the wi-fi connection drops when the anchor uh, power bank dies or it starts buffering or losing connection and i'm unable to stream video so as you can see right here in the Starlink app the mini is online, still done, downloading that update, but I'm still getting other internet services even though this update's downloading. And I'm not gonna install this, so it's not gonna reboot. It just automatically started downloading that update. So I'm gonna let that go. I'll check in every, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just to see how things are going or if anything interesting happens. Okay, this is the 20 minute mark, and I know you probably can't see that with all the sunlight here. The screen's not very bright but we have 89% remaining. So we've used 11% for just over 20 minutes. 
and let's go check out the Starlink app for a little bit more information. Okay, so as you can see, we're just over 21 minutes in, and I thought this was pretty interesting on the app. Um, so far this session, we have pretty much uh, perfect ping success, 99.88% on that. Um, no outages greater than two seconds in the last 15 minutes. Uh, latency, we've been averaging around 36 milliseconds in the last 15 minutes. And then power draw. Power draw is interesting. Uh, just 20 watts average over the last 15 minutes. So really consistently right at about 20 watts draw, even streaming um, 1080p video on YouTube here, and obviously no outages. So if you look at the throughput graph, this is what the download activity has been looking like. So just pretty consistent for online streaming. Never goes over 20 megabits per second because it doesn't need to for HD video. And as you can see, it's just buffering just grabbing a little bit of video at 20 megabyte, megabits per second, storing it in the buffer, and then that way it delivers a very smooth streaming experience. So things are going great here at the 20 minute check-in. We'll check in with you a little bit later. Check in with you uh, just after the 30 minute mark here, we are at 79%. So in about 10 minutes, we've used another 10% uh, or so. The uh, display here shows that I have about two hours and 15 minutes remaining at the current power consumption. I'm gonna shove the battery bank under the mini just to prevent the sunlight uh, hitting it directly. Hopefully that'll help a little bit with the heat, any heat issues, but um, I'll check in, check in at the hour mark since it says we have about two hours left. All right, checking in here at about one and a half hours. We are at, looks like 40, see if I can get that on there, 42%. And it says we have one hour and one minute remaining. So we've got an hour and a half. It looks like we're going to be set up to be at about uh, two and a half hours. So not quite hitting that three hour mark, but uh, we'll see what happens. So just after two hours and 10 minutes, I noticed that um, the Starlink Statistics app was no longer saying my mini was online. So it just it made it just over two hours. As you can see here on the screen, you might not be able to see that because it's almost dead. Uh, this is 0%, this is reading 0%, it is actually turned off the Starlink Mini, so it is no longer uh, connected to the internet. So we'll mark it as, um, I went back and looked at the statistics, uh, we'll mark it as two hours and uh, seven minutes for the total time here for the 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack uh, powering the Starlink Mini. So it actually caught me off guard on that test a little bit because I saw the last time that I had checked in with you guys, it had about an hour remaining. So I set a timer for myself for about 40 minutes or so because I wanted to be around when it actually died. So I, gave, I thought I gave myself plenty of time for any margin of error on the battery percentage. But uh, when I came out and checked it after just 40 minutes, it was already dead. So I had to kind of go back through the Starlink app and look at it and figure out the total time that way. So I wasn't able to catch it, you know, on camera dying. But yeah, definitely uh, the the battery, you know, toward the end of its charge uh, st state of charge definitely falls off quick with the Mini, even if it is just drawing constant 20 watts. So you got to keep that in mind if you're using one of these battery packs state of charge at you know below 20% or so, it just drops off really quickly. Okay, so next up we're gonna do the 27,000, uh, 27,650 milliamp version of this. So I'm gonna run the same exact test. It's got the mini set up in the same exact way. Just gonna plug it in, and as soon as I plug it in to the mini, that starts the timer here. So I'm going to get my phone out so I can get the timer set up here. Gonna reset, and as soon as I plug this in, boom, timer started. It's already drawing 42 watts on the display here, and we're good to go. I'm gonna hide it under the mini just to prevent direct sunlight. Let's get a leaf off of here, and we've got the timer started, and we're gonna go get the laptop set up. Okay, so just after about five minutes of being powered on, uh, the mini. It's finally connected online and we've got 1080p video streaming on the laptop here over Wi-Fi. Setup is identical, it's about 40, 
40 or so feet out into the yard, so it's, the Wi-Fi is working a little bit there. Um, we powered on, and we're going to check in, uh, I think, after the first hour, see where we're at. All right, checking in with you at just over one hour with the Anchor 27,000 milliamp hour unit here. And it looks like we are at a 74% state of charge with three hours and 26 minutes of indicated battery time left. So definitely outperforming the 20,000 milliamp unit as expected. The real question is what does the discharge curve look like? Is it any better on the bigger battery? And can we get uh, you know more than 38% more battery life out of this? Because the, that's what the amount of increase with the capacity is here. So compared to the 20,000 milliamp unit, this is about 38% more capacity. So can we get 38% more runtime out of it? Time will tell, down to 73% now. Check in with you a little bit later. All right, we are at the two hour mark. And remember the 20,000 milliamp hour uh, Anchor Prime pack quit after just over two hours. So two hours and seven minutes. But with the 27,000 milliamp, we are still at 42% remaining capacity. It's indicating one hour and 47 minutes left, um, drawing 22 watts right now. So as far as the Starlink app uh, statistics go, I'm noticing you know similar story here uh, as with the other packs. So nothing too different there. We have um, average power draw a little bit higher, um, 25 watts in the last 15 minutes. Um, same, you know, around 30 milliseconds latency and nothing, nothing really new there. Okay, we are at, right at the three hour mark and I'm running out of daylight here. Did not expect it, honestly, to take this long to test these two packs, but the 27 milliamp hour unit is still, still rolling here. So we have... Um, at three hours, we're down to just 12%, 38 minutes indicated left to go. It's been pretty dead on as far as the estimate um, so far, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it from now on because kind of like with the uh, 20,000 milliamp hour pack, the last 10% or so seem to go really quick. So I'll check in uh, when something happens here, but we are nearing the end, less than 40 minutes to go. Okay, we're nearing the end now. We have three hours and 12 minutes into our test and we are just at a 4% state of charge. So it's going quick now. Still drawing around 22 watts for the Starlink Mini. It's indicating about 10 minutes remaining, but I'm sure that it is going to die pretty quick here. So I'm gonna sit right here and let you know the exact time that it dies. Okay, I just saw the Starlink app go offline. Three, uh, let me pause that. Uh, three hours, 23 minutes and 23 seconds. All right, results time. It is actually the next morning because that test took so long, but here are the results for the Anchor Prime 20,000 milliamp version. It powered the Starlink Mini here off of USB-C for a total time of two hours and seven minutes. And that includes the boot up time all the way until the dish itself turns off and is no longer able to provide internet. The Anchor Prime 27,000 milliamp version, which has a around a 38% higher battery capacity, was able to power the Starlink Mini in the same setup and the same test for three hours and 23 minutes. And if you're doing the math there, that's about a 60% improvement in total runtime, despite just a 30 38% increase in battery capacity. So definitely some other factors at play here in terms of the battery uh, efficiency and the whole power pack efficiency in general. So the 27,000 milliamp version, definitely the one you want if you're interested in max runtime or max flexibility as far as putting this with your kit and being able to power other devices like charging your phone in addition to powering the mini. But both of these great options for portable travel with the Starlink Mini, uh, they're easily able to power it via the USB-C cable that Starlink sells. Um, this one worked great for me during this testing. So if you have any other questions about either of these Anchor power banks or powering the Starlink Mini off of a USB-C cable or other types of power banks, let me know in the comments below. Love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.